Hi, this is Christy and welcome back to 52 Weeks of Beauty. This is the second video. It's January 11th, 2013. It's actually my dad's birthday, so happy birthday, dad. Today I wanted to do a video on a quick at-home manicure. In the past, I have gone to many salons and have gotten acrylic nails, which really, really do ruin my nails. Um, and then I moved on to gel manicures, no chip, that sort of thing, which I think are beautiful and they last like 10 to 14 days. And I do think it's a little bit better on your nails, but when you take them off, my nails are just really, really weak still. And I was just determined to have really nice nails that would be strong and healthy and still look pretty and grow long and not break all the time and be affordable. It's really, I think even manicures at 12 to $15 even 18 with tip sometimes can be really pricey if you're getting them done every few days to every few weeks. So I decided that I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do my own manicures and I really have been the last few months and um, it really makes a big difference. I did this over the summer too and I took a break and then I noticed that it, you know, the quality of my nails were, it was just wasn't as strong. So I started it up again about a month ago. So I kind of wanted to go through my favorite products and what I use and how I do an at-home manicure. So I'm going to kind of talk through all the products and then I'll videotape and I'll kind of speed through it, you know, later. So you guys, I'll just cut it and edit it so you can see just the, you know, me doing it and then the after, um, before and after kind of thing too. So first of all, what I like to do is, this is my favorite nail polish remover. It's by Zoya. It is actually a push top. And you use a cotton pad and push it and the fluid comes up. This actually works really well. I love this so much and originally I got it just because it was fun. But then I ran out and I tried to just replace it with, you know, a generic one and it doesn't work as well. So I just bought another one. And they do have refills too that you could do as well. But um, I just decided to get a brand new one and you can get them on Amazon. They're pretty, it's not that expensive. Or um, Sephora too has them. So this is what I do to remove my nail polish. I actually do my nails probably every three days, sometimes every two days. And it's because I'm trying to make them healthy and grow longer. So the solution that I put on them, it kind of needs to be refreshed up every few days. So you'll see that in a second. So um, after I do the remover, then I have this product by Nail Teak or Nail Tech, not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but it's T-E-K. Um, this is step one, and it says it cleans, primes, and reinforces. So basically, you know when you go to a salon and they put something on your nails and it just like evaporates, it kind of looks like they didn't do anything. I think it is just kind of a alcoholy cleanser of some sort. So I will, well first I forgot to tell you that before this, I do this. <laughs> so let me back up. Okay, nail polish off. And then I got this orange little, I, I noticed someone was using this um, at a salon on me and I was like, that just, it's soft enough. It's not too rough. All the sides are the same. I'm like, I have to have one of these. So I asked one of them if I could just buy one and they let me for like a dollar. But then I noticed that they had them at Sally's. So I just get them at Sally's and it's just a buffing square and it's orange and I like it because again, it's not too rough, but it's rough enough to take off the dead um, nails on the, you know, the top to buff or file your nails, however you would say it. So I'll usually go through the whole top of my nails and then I will do this kind of file, just like double-sided, one of the coarser ones. I usually get these at Walgreens. I'm sure Sally's has them too. And then I just kind of shape my nails. I usually do square, but that's just my preference. And then um, I have a little cuticle trimmer. I love these. You have to be careful. Um, I just do the top and I do just a little bit of the skin that's, you know, sticking out. It comes off really nice and easily. I don't press because if you press, you'll notice when your nails grow out in like a month, you have this indentation in your nail and you're like, what's that from? And it's from this. So just do the little bit on the top. Don't get too um, close up at the very top because it actually will make you, it'll cut you a little and you don't wanna do that. So I just kinda just get the dead skin just off a little bit. And um, then, let me see if then I'm ready for this. Yes, okay, so then I use Nail Teak Step 1. I'm gonna call it Teak. And then, that usually is like, quick. You know what? I messed up again. So after all the filing stuff, then I'll wash my hands because you have the, um, all the residue from the file. So you'll see me do all this in a few minutes. It'll make a lot more sense than me talking about it. But anyway, so I wash my hands and then I put this on third times a charm, right? Okay. After that, this is my favorite, favorite product. This is the only thing that really matters in all of this that I'm talking about right now. 
actually not true some are, okay the best thing nail teak two so this is intensive therapy for soft peeling nails and depending on where you get this um, I think Amazon I got it for like six dollars but you can roughly around that price Sally's has this too um, and I don't think I don't know if Ulta does but Sephora might but don't quote me on that I just know Amazon and Sally's so far anyway I don't know what's in here they have a lot of different ones they have I think four or five different treatments um, this is the one that spoke to me the loudest soft peeling nails it also has the most amazing reviews out of all of them I think on all of the websites out there so if you google the reviews it's like incredible people see amazing results so um anyway I'm just I'm blanking on something else I forgot to show you I'm not blanking remembering okay it's one of those like harder files with the, the pointed tip and I'll bring that out in a little bit but that I use to kind of go through and go underneath the nails and everything too. Wow. Okay. We're going to have to like just do an, in a nutshell in a second so I can kind of make sense of all of this. Um, so I put the Nail Teak 2 on and I put it on all the nails and I let it dry. It doesn't take very long and it's just kind of like a base coat. And then I do a coat or two of whatever polish. SE is my favorite polish of them all. Um, I would probably say next would be Butter London and then OPI. Um, okay, and then after that, this is the next best thing ever. It's called Seche Vite. If you haven't heard of it, it's another thing to do a quick Google on to read some reviews. It is like everybody prefers this that as opposed to like, how do I say it? People say that they go to the salon and this works like better than anything they've ever dreamt of. Like this is the best at home top clear coat. It's super shiny. It makes your nail polish dry really quick. And I think that's the hardest thing when you do your polish at home. It's like you think you have time. You're like, I'm gonna do a manicure. And the next thing you know, you are like, oh, I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. Oh, I'm gonna do a load of laundry. And you're like, wait, I can't my nails. Oh, I think they're okay. And then you do it and you mess it up and you have to start all over. So this prevents that from happening. I don't know what is in this, but it really does make your nails dry super fast and it makes them so shiny I can't think of a better top coat that I've that's even come even halfway close to what this does so sachet beat and again I'll kind of do an overview on this um, with the camera afterwards so that's really bad I don't put a top coat on after or um of the nail teak too sometimes it will call it'll call for putting another coat on I just do the base coat and then this is my top coat the sachet beat and after my nails are dry then I like to go and take Josie Moran argan oil and I really like this you can use any argan oil out there but um there's something about this one I really like I like that it has a little dropper I get the mini one this is the one at the travel size I think it's like 14 to 18 dollars roughly at Sephora um, it lasts a really long time and sometimes I'll do this before you know before I go to bed too but you just put the dropper and I put it on each of my nails right at the cuticle and then I rub it all in and then after it's all in my nails are kind of all oily then I take some lotion any lotion really but I use Jergens, and then I just kind of like rub it all together this especially in the winter if you live in a cold climate makes your cuticles look amazing the next day like fresh and moisturized not dry and you know cracking and peeling and all of that so I really really like recommend using these two, well any lotion and Josie Marin argan oil um, after like every manicure and if you can every night too it's really great for your skin and for your nails and you can use this for other things too you use it for your hair you can use it for your face um, as a moisturizer you can there's all kinds of things you can use um, argan oil for so okay so I'm gonna get started and then um, I'll kind of edit it a little bit and speed through it so it's not like in real time um, but uh, those are my I don't know little tips or tidbits for an at-home quick easy affordable manicure okay
say thank you for watching this video. Please uh, leave a comment below if you have any tips that are helpful for your at-home manicures. I would like to say this Nail Teak 2 really, really works if you have soft peeling nails, if you've been using acrylics or even gel manicures for a while, I would recommend doing this and changing out your polish and starting from scratch every two to three days. You will notice your nails within two months or are ridiculously long and pretty and it actually makes your nail tips a little bit white which makes it really pretty for us a, a natural even kind of French manicure look with a pale pink polish and um, it's I don't know I mean I noticed the strength of my nails right away within a week or so but you will notice it keep they keep growing and they're so pretty but you do have to you know take care of your nails and file them and buff them and keep polish on your nails it really is a big important tip you know if you start to have any chipping you want to replace your polish as soon as possible because that exposed part of your nail that doesn't have polish is going to become you know weaker than the rest of your nail that does have polish and that is going to be the part that hits objects that breaks easier things like that so those are my tips and I um, hope you guys are having a great week and thanks so much for watching bye bye